What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. I just got the phone call saying our sandblasted parts for our SEMA truck are in fact done. So our hitch, our horn blasters tank, our horn blasters mount, the two little uh, bump stop extensions, all that stuff has been sandblasted. Oh, and our hitch. All our stuff has been... Did I say that already? I don't know. All that stuff has been sandblasted and we're ready to go pick it up. It's probably one of the last beautiful days here in Ohio. As you can see, leaves are already falling. And, uh, but it's like 80 degrees today, which is freaking sweet. Also, out of fuel, gonna have to go fill up. But I'm excited, but not excited at the same time. I've been powder coating for days on end, but it's really fun. I honestly wish I had another color to shoot, but for future projects, I will. With a day like today, all the way in October here, you already know, you better be enjoying it. All right guys, so we picked up all our sandblasted parts. Here's our spare tire delete kit, our air tank, bump stop extensions that are off the zone lift. Here's our hitch um, support bars. And here is our hitch. I am quite worried about this because I'm gonna have to get extremely creative. I don't know how I'm gonna hang this or get this in the oven because it's quite heavy. Those racks in the oven aren't that sturdy, so I'm gonna have to get creative. That one's gonna be fun. He did say I should probably get this to Primer, I don't think he knew I was repowder coating it, but he said I should get this to primer as soon as possible because it will start rusting on me. So, definitely gonna have to tackle these super soon. All right, guys, so we actually went to Home Depot yesterday and picked up not that, not that, and I definitely just got this coffee this morning, but we picked up a water trap and a bunch of various fittings and the various fittings are going to allow me to be able to put it on that compressor and take it out to my blue compressor and switch it to whatever big compressor i get in the future um i've noticed a couple things when shooting the powder on the smaller uh on the smaller objects is that it feels not right and i'm gonna be honest i didn't know that i didn't buy a regulator i bought like an airflow gauge so i'm gonna swap those out this just like lessens air flow not air pressure so I'm gonna swap those to a regulator so I can de I can run the compressor at 100 psi, but dumb it down to about 5 psi. But out of the compressor, we're gonna have a water trap so uh, we can make sure no water gets into our powder. So it'll give us a better spray and make sure none of the powder is getting any moisture in it because it seems kind of thick um, coming out. Uh, we don't want that, so definitely gonna put a water trap on. <laughs> works so much better. We're gonna kick this back to about uh -uh, a little more. It's about 10 psi. Oh, so much better. So much better, guys. You don't know how excited I am about that. Just when you thought this couldn't get any more homemade or like, I don't even know how to explain it, but really just making things happen when you need to. Just just look at this. So our compressor is sitting outside. Here is our new powder coating booth. We have um, a variety of objects here. TV box to block the air, air conditioner. We got some buckets, man crate, bricks, used ATV wheels, an empty paint bucket, and some wood. Like I said, guys, you don't really know what happens to get SEMA trucks done. And this is one of the, this is just the funniest thing to me. This is awesome. I love this. So just like what we did with the um, diff cover, we're gonna fill these plugged holes with tin foil. These plastic plugs will definitely melt in the oven. So we're gonna do our best to get them out without breaking them like this one's about to. Yeah, it's about to break. This one definitely will come right out. Also guys, like I said, if you want a horn blasters kit yourself, use the code LIME, you'll get 10% off your order. Don't forget that.
Okay, so I'm gonna take our tin foil border off. Okay. These seem to be fine. What's gonna be real sketchy is the hitch. Alright guys, and as you can see, our spare tire delete kit is now powdered as well. We're gonna let this sit here for a second while we, uh, we got like, uh, six minutes or something left. Let me check. Yeah, we got like five minutes left on our, um, air tank and, uh, bump stop extensions, so we got like five minutes left on that. Then we're just gonna swap them, but this looks super good, actually. This looks really, really good. I can't wait to get this done. If you guys haven't seen the last couple videos, this is Illusion Purple, but it's not going to look purple till you put the uh, clear coat on. But, oh, till then, this still looks sweet. Just checking here, making sure we got everything, which it looks like we did. So we had a little party fall on that one. This slid down the rack and nicked into that one and knocked a whole bunch of powder off. Now if this was being painted, that'd be an issue because you have to strip everything and repaint it. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some more powder back on here and we should be just fine. I'm ready to see these because I already peeked and man, did they look good. Look at this, oh man. Look at our horn blasters tank, even the, um, Bump stop extensions are just looking super, super good. <sighs> wow. Those honestly look super good. Okay, things are coming along. We got our spare tire delete bracket out of the oven. Man, that's looking sharp. And what we're dealing with now is trying to figure out how to hook this hitch up so we can go get it uh, outside and powdered. So what I've come to the conclusion of with wire and these washers so it doesn't pull through, I'll be able to hang it um, sideways. So like in a full size powder coating oven, you can legitimately just hang it right here and there's no problem. The problem with this oven is this is way too long to hang vertically. So I have to hang it horizontally, which it's kind of posing a, a little problem here because it also fits the rack itself just perfectly. Okay, this one should be interesting. We got our huge 18 inch drop hitch up here. Um, this should be interesting, but this is probably one of the only ways we can achieve this in a home oven, so. Uh... think of that but it's close but who it's not touching okay thank you okay guys who gen y 18 inch drop in a home conventional oven wow that's amazing i can't wait to, i actually can't wait to see when this is done wow oh all right guys we are 
cooking, literally. Literally. We took our hitch out and we have our support poles in there. Those are going to cure. And what we have here is a huge, heavy hitch. Um, Illusion purpled. Yeah, this one's going to be fun to get uh, or to finish up here. I'm going to get this thing outside and shoot it with the clear because I really want to get the hitch done and just be done with powder coating for just a little bit. I've done so many pieces in so many days. It's just like I'm ready to just take a break, focus on some other stuff, get all this stuff installed. The road armor bumper should be showing up tomorrow. We're going to take those to Columbus. we got a lot of stuff to do, include install the air, uh, install, install the horn blaster stuff. we got a lot to do. So, whew. Powder coating is super fun and like super neat, but at the same time, I just need some time right now to like, like reset and get some other projects done. Projects done because SEMA's really closing in on us here, and uh, <laughs> that's what's funny is it's throwing me back right now to being at SEMA last year and just the feeling of being there in Vegas and everything, and the fact that I'm gonna see my truck there with. Memories like this, these late nights, me sitting here pumping out, you know, powder coating in my basement, doing stuff like this, getting it done, building the truck by hand. It's all going to be so worth it, guys. Uh, sorry I went off on a tangent there, but let's get this hitch done. Guys, sorry, the screen got a little, the lens got a little dusty there, but look at this. The hitch is so hot, it's like curing the powder as it hits. You can see it's turning purple already, that's crazy. It's honestly getting super dark here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm honestly gonna finish shooting the rest of this hitch, and then we'll get it in the oven. God, this is heavy. Holy crap. This is heavy. Oh. Oh. Come on. Okay. Oh. Okay. Wow. Crap, guys. That thing weighs so much. Like I said, the oven rack is not happy. Holy crap. Well, this hitch has been in there for well over 20 minutes now. I'm honestly exhausted and we still have another 20 minutes to go because I gotta go get the support bars out from outside, throw those in the oven, but this hitch is probably one of the biggest things we gotta get done and I'm gonna tell you that it looks phenomenal. Guys, look at the hitch. There's a little air bubble here. I think that's from uh, way too much powder on that area, which is absolutely fine with me. I don't care, but this hitch looks ridiculously awesome. Ugh. Ugh. Guys, ain't nobody doing what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely insane. This hitch looks freaking just un, un, unreal. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness, guys. <gasps> I am blown away. SEMA, literally, SEMA results, SEMA truck, SEMA parts. Home basement, conventional oven, anything's possible. Well guys, look at that. So here's pretty much everything we tackled tonight. <laughs> Looked a whole lot different at the beginning of the video, didn't at all. Silver, like raw metal is no longer. Look at this, that stuff is just shining off this light. I'm looking at the screen right now. This stuff looks incredible. Not even to mention the other stuff we powder coated. Rear diff cover, front diff cover, various fake Yeti tumblers we had. We powder coated all of this stuff at home, conventional oven. Uh, I ordered five pounds of each powder and I'd say maybe, I would say two and a half to be safe, but I would say definitely two, like one to two pounds max for, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12, about 15 pieces. They're obviously various size and shapes, but all this stuff looks so good. I am so impressed with how this hitch turned out. I am super excited to get it back on the truck. As you can see, my grimy, grimy fingerprints all over it already, but <laughs> oh, this looks so darn 
Good. Oh, I'm so happy how this turned out. As you saw it, guys, we're close. We are literally, as this video is probably uploaded, we have hit 90,000 subscribers. So I just want to say thank you guys all for your support. Uh, it's been a long road, and especially not only with the SEMA build, but just a long road in general. <clears throat> so I want to say thank you all for your support. So if you haven't been here before, please get down there and click subscribe. Shoot this video with a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or you thought this process was awesome or anything along those lines. Shoot this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. Um, and I want to say thank you guys for watching. We got the road armor bumpers being dropped off. Lots of stuff coming. So stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.